Uh, Nick, not good. No bueno. No Hugo bueno for you either. Uh, Manchester United nil. Palace one. Anderson goal in the 25th is the lone score here. Um, and the one thing that I'll ask you right off the top, if I gave you the ability to put Roy Hodgson in charge of Man United as opposed to Eric Ten Hag, would you take it right now? Only if he has a rotary phone. Sure. If if yeah, if, no, if he has to I'm call cool if he has to call him the subs like uh, people old school call him to the bullpen, you love that. I want to send I, I want to send him Morse code, higher yeah. offering him the job, and we're in. Love it, love it. Um, what's going on at Man United? And, and this is also we'll give listeners some context here. Uh, a three two loss to Galatasaray in the uh, Champions League today as well, which I will say, Michael, kind of called it, didn't I? Kind of called it. You did. Good yeah. job, brother. There you go. So, Nick, floor is yours. I have to say, I was pretty excited after practice. Practice ended a little early. Waiting for the kids to get picked up by their parents. You know, so we all, everyone's got their phones out. I see United's winning 2-1. I'm like, great. So I have my phone out and had the game on, waiting for the kids to get picked up and just really ruined what was a nice afternoon outside of practice. Just really ruined it, like... Uh, I honestly don't know what to think anymore. Like I, I it's it's I'm try I I went from angry two weeks ago to this week uh, or last week I was saying you know what we just got to find a way to grind through it to we're a dumpster fire right now. I mean we've got Armbat playing left back. Reggio was playing well. Uh, he's hurt again. You know I I mean injuries do play a factor in this. But you've got most of those injuries are positions that we have players don't experience in. You know, Varane's back, who I think Varane is the rudder of the ship, where Martinez is the guy shooting the cannons of that pairing. You know, um, you know, you got to like today, you got Victor Lindelof, or even Saturday, or you got Victor Lindelof playing. How much experience does he have? He's played for in Euros. He's He's played for United for, what, six seasons now? You know, and, and Veron and we're just giving up goals. Like, it's one thing if we can't put them all in the back of the net, but we can't defend. If you can defend, you can find a way. I mean, Sean Dyche is a clear example of that. They're a mess. Rashford's not... Rashford's a mess. Rashford's indecisive. Um, Hoyland looks great. I mean, he's the one bright spot. Him and Bruno look pretty good. We can't figure out the right wing. Uh, the midfield's a disaster. Casemiro is just slow. It's it's a mess. And at this point, I'm just hoping we find a way to get into Europe, which I'm not really expecting. And I'm hoping a way we find a way to get into the, to the to turn around and get into the knockout rounds, which I don't see happening. And maybe we make a run the FA Cup, which I don't see happening. And uh, <laughs> hoping we can make a run the Carabao Cup, which I don't see. I don't see happening. Happening. So. I'm pretty negative town right now, and I wish I had a better response, a, a better answer. But I don't know anymore. Hello. I don't. I really, I really, really don't know because there's so many problems, and injuries are a major component of that. Not the only problem. I mean, yeah. many, but it's a very not having a lot of players is not good. Yeah. So like if you have yeah. if you have two quarterbacks you don't have one type of situation for you right now. Um, Eberitze Eze Eze was easily like the best person on the field. I, I watched some of this game too. Um, I will say, and Michael, I feel like you always like to at least give your your two cents on on United as well. But I've seen this before. This is the same TV show, the same film that you did with Ragnick that you did with Mourinho, that you did with Ole. Like, I don't know, man. It's almost like there is a nice little push up a hill, little momentum. You get a win against either us or Liverpool or someone else that people are like, oh, United's back on the map. They can win this one. You'll win it. And then it's almost like it's just like a slow petering out, which is like such an old school school term that I don't know if it like 
really make sense, but in my mind it does. Like, I don't know. It's it's a little odd. Um, it's, I feel I, like I've seen it before. I, I, I think if you, you can describe them like Keyshawn Johnson. <laughs> you you want him to give him the damn ball? If you don't, because we've been, we've conceded uh, in five of the first nine games, we've conceded the first goal. Mm-hmm. And if you don't, the first 15 or 20 minutes, we come out flying. But if we can't put one in the back of the net, we're like, we just get incredibly discouraged, mm-hmm. you know? And it's, it, it's like the complete opposite of United during COVID, uh, behind closed doors where like you're watching games, oh, they go one down one, nothing early. It's like, yeah, whatever. They're going to go score three goals. Not even a big deal. Like I literally made so much money off of United going down when they won what 12 games when going down first made so much money betting on them. Not even just win two one, but like win going away. Um, and you weren't worried. You know, there's teams that like, you know, that I played on, I'll be able to go, whatever, we're going to go score three. Or, you know, or, you know, we gave up a couple of runs in the first, we're going to go score ten. This it, this is like, this is like when you go down one nothing, it feels like twelve. Yeah. Just because you're just throat, uh, stomach and throat. It, you just, it's just not, the mentality is not there, the confidence is not there. And I don't necessarily want to say it's ten hog because... I do appreciate the fact that he has standards and he sticks to them, you know. So maybe we don't have the right players, but um, it's going to be a long season. It's going to be a very like I currently have four gray hairs in my beard. I think I might get to ten by the end of the season. Yeah, by by week. Or eight. maybe or, or maybe or maybe Boxing Day. Yeah. Yeah, Michael. Um, I think I said either last pod or the pod before. If you literally make these players like not like no faces no numbers whatever and you just watch jerseys run around the field i don't think you could if i and i said what era of the united Woods is from i don't think you could tell me if this was ragnick ale yeah probably Mourinho, but i don't the, the last three i don't think you could you could legitimately tell me with certainty which group this was yeah it, it just looks pretty familiar um nick We'll get you some Sorry, real game Nick. for Christmas. Sorry, Nick. Be perfect. All right. Sorry, Nick. It's okay. I I will say the last last thing real quick is I don't know how much you guys watched it of the last twenty minutes of the game of the Champions League or whatever, but Onana is a disaster. <laughs> he disaster, dude. The he almost gave up a goal on a ball that came across. He should have caught it, like hands down, and he just kind of like thumped fumbled it, parried it. It's not even a parry. It was just like a scrummed it out there. Guy should have put it on frame. Didn't. And then the goal that they gave up uh, that led to the Casemiro second yellow because Casemiro had to make the challenge. Like, he had no choice. They're playing out of the back. They play on the ball. And uh, Delo is, there's no one within 30 yards of him. He decides to play the ball up the field when, uh, I guess it was Casemiro that was there. The Galatasaray player standing right next to him, and you're just like, "What are you look like? What are you looking at right yeah. now?" And he's a mess. He's he's he needs to get it together quick. Or I mean, shit, sign De Gea again, sign him back. I mean, they wouldn't, and he wouldn't. I don't. If I was him, I wouldn't come back after how they treated me. But he's supposed to be a ball playing keeper. Def definitely a mess. 